Goes There? by John W. Campbell. Whoa there. Whoa! Okay. You'll get your supper soon enough. Come on, let's get you inside. Hey, Branny. Pulled well. That's a boy. That's a boy. Connant! Hey, Connie! The boss wants us all in the mess. Well, when? I have to feed the dog. Soonest! Feed him later. He says now. Oh, hear that, boys? He says now. Yeah, all right, all right, gentlemen, settle down. Thank you, you should tell the Huskies, Chief. They've been going on bloody non-stop. Yeah. I don't know why. They're the only ones here who don't have to eat your cooking, Kinner. Hey, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with my cooking. Whoa. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it is. Sorry, Commander. Just trying to settle the dogs. Yes, you can't blame them. I think we all feel uh, unsettled. Yeah, ever since that that thing arrived. Yeah, that's, that's what we have to talk about. And... Let's not get hysterical about this. We found a man from Mars and we're not supposed to get hysterical. <laughs> this is not that happen. simple. Let's remember we're an Antarctic survey. We're scientists. So what now, Chief? Yeah, do we actually get a chance to look at this? What's the story? I'll leave that to MacReady. He knows more about this, uh, this thing than any of the rest of us, Mac. Thank you, sir. So, come on, Mac. You've been playing this one close to your chest. It's time to lay down the cards. Very well, gentlemen. Would you care to join me in number seven cold store? He said it was ugly. He didn't say the half of it. Come on, Scouse. I bet you wouldn't look so good to it. Just as long as it never gets a chance to try, Doc. Can I smell something? You shouldn't. It's frozen solid. Me too. Getting colder every day. A week and we'll be snowed in. Yeah, okay, uh, Mac? Right. Well, I think you all know the background. Mm -hmm. Magnetic anomaly appearing within 50 miles of the pole. Speculation, a meteor of some kind, probably landed a million, million and a quarter years ago. We decided to take a look, keeping it pretty much under wraps. And I don't have to remind any of you, we're all government employees and subject to the Official Secrets Act. Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that the Antarctic is an open continent, that we're meant to share and share alike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Kenner, just a bit. Of course, the small fact that the army managed to destroy what we found while trying to get it out of the ice might just have something to do with it too. <laughs> so it's not a rumour? There was a ship? There was a ship. Sunk pretty deep in tertiary ice. We were able to access a, a fin of some kind. But you couldn't analyse it. I mean, didn't anyone there figure that? What did you use? Thermite rapid heat. Navy uses it for free and ice-bound ships. Army uses it for destroying them. London wanted them to move fast before anyone else got in on the act. And now they never will, right, Commander? Yes, I'm afraid so. A one million year old spacecraft, lost. But we got the driver. Yeah. I don't know how much we want him. It, Kinner. Where did you find it, Mac? 200 metres south of the craft. My best guess is that it got out for some reason. Maybe it was injured, maybe confused. <clears throat> sure as hell didn't realise just how cold it can get up there. It froze. Solid. Mm. That's some ice cream. I mean, can you make it out? What it actually... Oh, God, it just makes me feel like I'm falling into a nest of spiders. Mm, natural protective reaction. Don't know what it is? Fear it, destroy it. I'd go for that. I'm sure I can see three eyes in there and they're looking out at me. Now why don't you go make supper? Maybe, maybe it's hungry, Kinner. You could cook up one of your casseroles for it. Though, come to think of it, it looks like one of your casseroles. <laughs> <laughs> Given that the ship was a million years old, then... You realise this thing is also... No. I just can't conceive of that. We're scientists. We can conceive of anything. It's our job to dream, Doc. And make those dreams concrete. I'll settle for thick ice. Well, that's the question, isn't it? Well, well, Blair wants to examine it, thaw it out, take samples. You're out of your tiny mind, Blair. And you're the cook, Kinner, not a scientist. Oh, the rest of us are. Look, we have an isolation lab. We have remote tools. Anything else we might need. And anyway, it's just dead meat. Oh, you uh, even not? you should be able to work that out. Hold on, Blair. How do we know this isn't? In some kind of suspended animation. Because exactly. it isn't possible. Oh, look, there are microscopic forms out here that freeze over winter and animate in spring. Yeah, right. mosses and lichens. Nothing this complex could survive. That, I'm sure. Mm. The virus is just. You're a doctor. You know that non-terrestrial microorganisms can't cross over. Yeah. No shared genetic inheritance, no danger. For once, the phrase, not of this earth, 
is positive. But it's We're a... not stuck in an old oh. horror movie here. And we are stuck in the modern world where budgets are tight. Yeah, budgets are so tight we're getting strangled. Yeah. Our funding is running out. We're just this tiny little cog in a big research wheel. Six men and a dozen huskies, one snowcap, one ski plane. We monitor a hell of a lot of data, though. Yeah, the trouble is we're not quite big enough to be sexy or small enough to slip by. I haven't said this before, but after next year, nothing. Instruments alone. It's about money, isn't it? The whole bloody lot of it. This ship, this thing. I mean, if we get there first, we win the big prize. Think of it. Oh. We'd never be without backers again. Anything we wanted on a plate, but we'd be made oh. for life. We have to do it. Be one hell of an opportunity. Unique, you could truly say. <laughs> but if we kept it frozen over winter, took it back in the spring... No, they'd take it away from us, yes. that's for sure. Exactly. You're for it, Mac! I'm a meteorologist, Kenner. I don't really have an opinion on the science, but I do like working down here. Mm. The Antarctic, it gets in your blood. And I want to come back mm. next year, year after, for the rest of my life. I guess you could say I, I'm always for men over machines. Mm. Connie? I think Max right. They take it away from us, so we should work on it while we can. Doc, it's a hell of a question. We shouldn't have to ask it. Yeah, well, there's a lot of questions we shouldn't have to ask. All right. I suppose, yes. You're all nuts. Just don't ask me to deep fry you. Might be an improvement. <laughs> okay, Blair, you've got it. What now? We let it thaw out naturally. No more thermite. <laughs> <laughs> Still, when you look at it, even through the ice, it's a horror. Well, after you've fed your dogs, Connie, you can have the pleasure of keeping an eye on our visitor. Hmm? Thanks a million. Animal, you stupid, stupid! Down, man. Okay, okay, calm it down, everyone. Connie, it's gone. I mean, it, it went. It moved. I, well, I sure as hell didn't move it. You went to sleep. I don't know. I, yes, I went to sleep. You were supposed to watch it. No, I was supposed to be here, but no way was I watching it. I mean, that ice got really clear, like glass, and I kept thinking it was alive in there. Well, calm down. Just, just tell I us. went to sleep. I mean, there were dreams. Yes, it was like I couldn't get away, like it was inside me, but sort of different, sort of. I can't explain. I mean, that I was trying to wake up, and then I did. It wasn't there. Right, the ice down, was now. melting. Broken and no, we have to find it. Not me, pal. You find it. I've had all I want of it. Got a man sleeping this Sorry, place. Doc. Will's pet just went ear wall. We lost it. You bet. No. <laughs> no, come on, guys. This is a joke, right? No joke. Don't you see? We have to find it. It, it could be confused, lost. It could be a lot of things, Blair, but one thing it shouldn't be is alive, yes? Okay. I was wrong. Insufficient data. But this is different. This is. Think of. What it must know, how much it could tell us. Look, this makes everything else like nothing. We have to... Oh, that... my God! They could tear it to pieces! Such a creature, Blair. What about my dog? Don't go unarmed! No, no! It must be harmed! Whatever happens, we have to preserve it! That's my arm! Do you want to tell me what it is, then? Gary, you have to stop no, it. Don't shoot. We stop have it. to communicate. It could tell us... Back there, Connie. Just... Will somebody tell me just what the hell that thing is? Dead, I hope. Conan, get those dogs back in. Nope. Just McCready with a blowtorch. Thanks, Mac. Somebody got an extinguisher. I'll get one. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, Blair, you can cut it up now. I don't think it'll be telling us anything. Can somebody help me with the dogs? Dog? Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. First, anybody hurt? Commander? Uh, no, no, it's just a scratch. Mother surprise. Aye. There's one hell of a surprise, all right. Coffee coming up. Anyone for coffee? Mr. Thing, coffee for you. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it really is dead. Coffee. Oh, thanks, yes. I think we could all use some. You sure it's dead now? I put a few million volts through it after Mac had finished. Sure is. So, I mean, what's that about? I mean, look at it. Did it eat one of your dogs or what, Connie? Oh, don't ask me. The damn thing killed three of them and the rest. Aren't going to be pulling any sleds for a while. I'm sorry. So, what is it, Chief? Do we know any more? Blair? Well, <clears throat> I have a feeling that what we saw first... The thing in the ice? Yes. I'm not even sure if that was its original form. Whoa. But... Come again? Well, look. Look here, this... this dog leg. You must have ripped it off. I don't recall. No, no you're right, Doc. Oh. You don't. Well, somebody tell me what the hell they're on about. Oh, sorry, Kinner. What I'm saying is that the creature did tear a bit out of one of the dogs. Yeah. Hey, dog. And right. ingested it and... Don't ask me how. Analysed it and started growing a dog leg. <laughs> that is nuts! <laughs> Isn't it? it? Looks like a dog's leg. It even even feels like one. The fur seems real. T touch it and see. No way. But it isn't. Uh, it is something else. What? I don't know. Some kind of protoplasmic intelligence, a, a sort of super chameleon. Changes shape as well as colour. It absorbs organic tissue and breaks it down, moulds it. Intelligently? I, I don't know. Maybe it takes on the intelligence of its new form. Maybe not. Maybe it would have been a very smart dog if it had found the time to complete the change. How would we have known? What, that it was a dog? Mm. Well, we wouldn't. Until and unless it attacked one of us, or maybe changed again. What was it planning to do? What does it want? Well, survive, I should think. It's an almost perfect survival system. Takes on the shape of anything it wants. Grows, spreads. That's it. That is it, Kinna, for all life anywhere. Survive. The rest, all of art and science, is jam on the bread. Oh but don't you see how elegant it is? It's perfection. All of you... It, it, it goes on. No, no. It fries. Well, this one did. What do you mean, Blair? There was only one. I, I dug it out the ice. Mac, you saw it with the dogs. They were tearing it apart. Did you fry every shred of flesh? Boil every drop of blood? Did we check every dog to make sure it's a real dog? How, how about every one of us? Did you check we're real? What about Conan? A doc, a kinner? A kinner's real. No one else could make coffee this bad. As it was one of us, what would the point be? Just grow, to survive, to spread. First here, then... Then the rest of the world. You have got to be kidding. Survival of the fittest. If it was me? Oh, it could fly out. Just like you can. Only it won't. Because I destroyed all the flight systems. Nobody and nothing flies out of here. Just like nobody is calling home. I screwed the comms. Look, I'm sorry, fellas. But it had to be done. We opened Pandora's box and something came out. Hey, and that means none of us, not one of us, can ever... <laughs> well, but then, well, don't you see? There's only one way to stop this thing. We're all dead, one way or the other! Oh. Oh. Doc? It's only a sedative. He'll be all right when he wakes up. Right, someone had better check the comms of the ski plane. Conan? I'm on it. I'll take a look at the plane. What do you think, Mac? I think that if I do find anything untouched, I'll smash it. What? Look, Blair might be crazy, but he was right about one thing. Nobody leaves. Nobody communicates. Not until we know this creature's dead. And if we can't kill it? Ah, 
How's Blair? Well, we put him in the engine room. Gave him enough food and water, nailed the door shut and then backed the snowcat against it. He's not getting out. Not that he wants to. Seems to think we're all infected. He's insane, but not stupid. You think some of us are? Conant was alone with the dogs after I sewed them up. Yeah, he's been keeping to himself. Not surprising, given the way the rest of us are looking at him. Not surprising if he's not feeling himself today. And how about you, Doc? You spent time with the dogs, too. Maybe we should apply the foot and mouth answer. Everyone dies infected or not. How could we trust the last man to turn the gun on himself? <laughs> we could always let Blair out to do the job. Right, if he's still human. Damn it, hell, Mac. This is crazy. There has to be a test. Some way we can... D we hold on, dog. Th this thing's able to become like a dog, a human being, a, a perfect imitation. Except it... Hmm? Well, maybe it still has to be itself. Well, otherwise, it would just be a dog, and there's no point to that. Hmm. It has to retain its, its essential characteristics at the same time as using... The mind or emotions that it's created as a survival tool. Yeah. Good, Mac. Very good. Could you guys just stop looking at me like that? No, I don't think so. This is... I'm not a creature! Hey, hey. You were with the dogs, Connie. We have to be sure. I'm sure? I mean, if I was... Kenner, will you shut up that noise? And not just about you. No, McCready, you can't. They're innocent. It's not their fault. You can't! <laughs> Don't. Oh. <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to be sure. Oh, oh, you're crazy. Don't burn me. No, it's the only way. No. Don't get close. Look at him, Conant. Is that how you want to end up? Is something, something polluted, alien? Well, I'm not going to thank you all for being here. We'd all rather be elsewhere. Particularly the creatures. What do you mean, Doc? It means that right now, there's nothing living for 300 miles in any direction apart from us. Weather's closing in. As soon as it clears, they'll send a team to see why we've been off the air. I reckon we've... two weeks, maybe three, before someone else gets here and something else welcomes them. They'll have a bloody plane. The damn thing will fly out and then... The world. Maybe they'd make a better job of it. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't funny. I didn't. How the hell do we know who's who? Like this. Connie, get a petri dish. Uh -huh. I figured it just a while ago. It's about blood. It's always about blood. Go on, Mac. Well, life is selfish. It wants to survive, right, Doc? Unless Darwin was wrong. Yeah, and this thing, Blair said every bit of it was aware, self-sufficient, an animal in itself, reflecting the nature of itself. Like when it became a dog, it acted like a dog. And when it became a man, it acted like a man. And when it became that man's blood... This do, Mac. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Now, cut your palm. Bleed into the dish. But we know it fears fire. When I heat this needle and put it in your blood... Look, I know, I know. See? I told you. 24 hours and I'm okay. I'm... Thank God. Right. Doc, you're next. Sure. I know I'm okay. We'll see. Connie, bring me another dish. Right. sample from Kenner. It'll be high in cholesterol, I can tell you that. Hey, you can play, you but you... Help me! Please, Mac! Mac! Burn it! Oh, God. Burn it. Oh, 
I'm burning! Help me! Help me! Ah! You, you shot Norris. He was... I mean, he wasn't... Kinner attacked him and... Drew blood. Doc was a dead man from the moment the flu is mixed. Like any of the rest of us. Hey, hey Mac. I'm okay. It was a scratch. It was only a scratch. It probably wasn't even Kinner. It was just... <laughs> and then there were two. No. No, three. What? Blair. Oh, he's still out there, locked in the tractor shed. Is he? Do you think... I, I don't know, but it, we sure as hell better find out. We better get out of here. This place is gonna burn. It's fine with me. Just as long as it burns every shred of this thing to ashes. What about us? We can talk about us after we've seen Blair. Get suited up. It's cold out there. Hang on to the rope! Don't get separated! No way, Mac! Can you look? Can't see a meter in front. Snow's too heavy. Look for the snow cat. Made to be visible. I think I found it, Connie. Yeah. Get in. Get in. So what now? Is there a lot of time alone in there? If he is one of those things, yeah, he could, could have changed into anything. Maybe back into whatever it was, flew that saucer here. What if he has made something? We unmake it. Connie, you sit tight. I'll go in. If there's any suspicion that he... Any suspicion at all, I'll, I'll fire up the torch and you drive the whole damn front wall down with the snow cart. Then, throw in these cans and back off fast. What's in them? Aviation fuel. Well, the plane won't be needing it. There's enough here to deep fry a blue whale. Yeah. I want to take care of one thing. Okay. Just be very careful, Mac. If I'm going to freeze to death, I'd like to do it in good company. But nobody's freezing. Okay? Nobody human is dying out here. Right, let's go. I mean, are you all right? Yeah, I think so. What was all that noise just now? The explosions? You have a fire at the base? You could say we did, yeah. No one hurt? No one. Been keeping yourself busy? Of course. I've been working out its probable rate of growth, Mac. Then it gets back to people. It starts multiplying. You remember that old science joke about how many times you need to fold a piece of paper until it was thick enough to get you to the moon? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Once you start doubling and doubling, it doesn't take many. So you're saying? What? Is that a year? The whole... The whole... <sighs> you want to know if I'm still a human, don't you, Matt? I guess I do, Blair. And if I am? <laughs> There's only Conant and me left. The base is gone. Yeah, Ashes. Done, once my power line went off. It's cold in here, Matt. We have, we have to fire up the snow cart. Try and make the coast. We won't survive outside once the flames die down. We'll freeze. We'll die. That thing didn't die. Not after a million years in the ice. Well, that's why we have to know, Blair. We can't take the chance. Mac, I am human. Yeah, right, that's what Kenner said. I'm Commander Gary. I know I am. Then unbar the door from your side. Look, look, my, my son Trevor, he, he took biology at Imperial, then switched, you remember? He switched to ballet. And now Pooch, Fermi, a long haired terrier man. Please, I'm me. Yeah, but that's the point, Blair. You are you. And if, if you're one of those things, you'd still be you. Well, there must be something. The Unbar the door! Let me in! Stand well by! Mac! <coughs> How do I know about you? Open it, Blair! Or I'll have to burn it down! I'll have no choice! I can't trust you! Any of you! There's a test! What? If we heed the blood, 
It, it responds. My God, Mac. Have you got a bare wire in there? Yeah, yeah, lots. Well, fine. I'll fire up the torch and then we'll see. Okay? Okay. That's it. That's it, Connie. I'm finished now. I heard him screaming. Aye. He didn't change. He didn't try and escape. He was human. He burnt and he died. A human being. Maybe. Maybe not. Mac? Mm -hmm. There's only one person didn't take that test of yours. It wasn't time. It's time now. Sure. About three weeks until the rescue party get here. Only we'll both be dead by then if we don't get the snow cart moving. I removed the capacitor. <laughs> oh. I thought you might. Well, could be a problem there. That's right. We could freeze, Mac. Aye, Connie. We could freeze. In John W. Campbell's Who Goes There? MacReady was played by Liam Brennan. Professor Blair by Ewan Meredith. Dr. Norris by Cyril Nri. And Commander Gary by Christopher Godwin. Kinner was played by Harry Myers and Conant by Colin Adrian. The dramatist was Mike Walker 